So, skull original, fine cut, and then this one's winter green as well. Doesn't say it on the, no, it doesn't actually say it on the can lid, right, that it's winter green, but it says it on the, uh, on the side of the can there. All right. I think it's to note with uh, fine cuts, all right, especially when it comes to another fine cut, all right, Copenhagen snuff. All right, I tend to, I'm still a rookie, all right, dipping fine cuts, all right, kind of get everywhere in the mouth, unless. You obviously practice it and, and get it squared away. All right, I'm not too good at dipping fine cut at the minute, uh, but practice makes perfect, as they say. Okay, I tend to, instead of side packing it, all right, either left side or right side, I tend to put it uh, in the front because it's fine cut, it's just a little bit more easier to control there. All right, is kind of how we're going for it there. All right, uh, what do you do? Leave some comments below. Uh, I know there's a lot of seasoned dippers out there, that all they dip. It's Copenhagen stuff, and they tend to do it anyway, all right, because uh, obviously they've got the practice behind it, things like that. So, there we go. Look inside, a little bit taken out from the top there, all right, I'd probably suggest that because it is fine cut, obviously, these uh, cans have been off weight, all right, so it's a little bit more compact together than all the rest of it, all right. The winter green smell I'm getting from this is. Oh yeah, I'd say it's smooth, smoother winter green compared to Copenhagen winter green, which is like a, a winter green that kind of punches you in the face and you definitely know you, you, you're dipping it. There we go. Can packs together, all right. Like I said in previous videos, you don't really need to pack a new can, but I tend to do it because I do. There we go. All right. See there a little bit more. Obviously the. Uh, Dip God likes a bit of winter green and he's taking a little pinch from the skull there. Alright, let's get a pinch, get it settled in and then see where we go. Fine cut is normally a little bit harder to pinch, as you can see there, alright, it kind of just falls apart. Alright. So you tend to take smaller pinches and then just like put two or three in rather than try and do it that way. Alright. This is where it shows I'm a rookie when it comes to fine cut. Always have a bit of trouble with fine cut. I'm not a seasoned fine cutter. I tend to never go for fine cut really. I tend to go for the uh, making the green. I tend to take a pinch and then use the side of the can. I push it in there and I'm just going to have to literally scoop it in. Apologies if I make a mess. Like I said, I'm a rookie when it comes to uh, pinch of fine cut like so. I'll just put one in for this. Talk to you. 
and I look like an idiot. Mm. There we go. Just a little one. I normally do obviously a big one, but talking to you as well. I like to uh, chat to you and not just spit my dip everywhere. So yeah, packs together pretty well, all right, but then the problem isn't the packability of this, it's me as a, uh, as a non fine cut dipper as such, all right, it is, generally is quite difficult, he says. As you can see there, all right, with it being fine cut, you kind of pinch it, if you put a little bit more pressure on like you normally do with uh, the other dips, all right, it just literally crumples in your hand, all right, but there we go, get used to it and just two or three in, rather than trying to take a big pinch. Fine cut. One of the things I'll mention is why fine cut? Why do we need to do fine cut? All right. This is my opinion, all right, but obviously with fine cut, uh, when it comes to getting the nicotine in the system, all right, because it is very, very fine cut, you'll notice that it'll uh, cut your gums a little bit. tend to get a lot more nicotine off the fine cut, just, just the way it kind of works with these. I'd probably suggest that if you're a seasoned dipper you kind of go to your fine cuts when it comes to the original winter green there by skull or your coat maybe snuff as such, very fine cut right. If you're not practiced in it, it can get very messy and I'd probably suggest as a beginner dip, dipper you don't go to fine cuts being snuff or this one itself right, because the problem with Dipping as such is if you get bloaters that go to the back of your mouth, all right, it gives you a, a unpleasant experience, I'll say that. Let that soak in for a little bit, and there we go. I like the can. All right, going for a uh, more original look when it comes to skull. Uh, it's quite nice, and I do like green cans. There we go. The dip then. Mm. It is a very smooth wintergreen taste and it's borderline potentially kind of not wintergreeny. You get a little bit of wintergreen through but you do get more of a tobacco, tobacco taste. It's quite sweet as well. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Spit. I like lighter brown on this one and because it is fine cut it gets into the uh, gums a little bit better I'll probably suggest there's a lot more uh, you get a lot more saliva out of it as well so there we go nicotine I know it's suggested especially when it comes to the Copenhagen snuff all right because it is fine cut all right nicotine kind of gets a lot better into the system because instead of having like normal one cut Right, and then soaking into the gums that way because it's fine cut, it, it causes lots of little uh, little slits in the gums to be fair. Right, let's get that nicotine through. Right, when I mean slit, I don't mean like a razor blade cutting the actual gums open. Right, it's just a little uh, little ones just to get the nicotine in, into the system. So yeah, nicotine definitely is going to be a lot higher because it is fine cut like I've stated. Alright, uh, moving on to last ability, uh, I'll probably say you get a decent hour out of this, alright, I tend to, like I've said in previous videos, I, I tend to just keep a dip in for about an hour and then after that the flavour's gone and there's no point really keeping it in. I know other seasoned dippers like Christic One, alright, he stated and he said in one of his videos that he kind of pops a dip in for like three, about three hours or something like that, which is fair play, he does what he does doesn't he, but I probably wouldn't keep a dip in for longer than an hour to be fair I don't see the point in having a dip in without having all right the flavour behind the dip and all the rest of it there we go all right the rating on this one it's not bad I definitely dip it again all right I need to become a little bit more seasoned in the, in the fine cut dips all right uh, I'd have to give it a I go for a seven Give it a seven. All right, the wintergreen flavour is not overpowering. It's nice and smooth. All right, packs all right in the gums, in the lips, should I say? So, 
Not bad score, one of your, one of your better dips now all the fruit ones are gone. Not bad. Obviously stick to my previous order, all right. Got to check this out. Dippers amongst us. Nice red mud jug, all right, it is very vibrant red. Brand new, I haven't spat in it yet. All right, uh, I'll probably pop that one on one of the next reviews, all right, pop the cherry of that red there. Okay, but yeah, as always, now I'm getting my mud jugs up, all right, I've got a black one of this, the original, I've got a blue one, I've got a red one, and then my favourite I always go to, because obviously it makes it easier, I'll stick it in the car, all the rest of it, all right, is the Rodi black mud jug, all right, always, always a winner. Although, because obviously they're American company and all the rest of it, all right, it kind of doesn't fit in the British cup holders here, so I just kind of just stick it on the side, all the rest of it in the car, when, uh, when I dip. One video that I'm going to do, uh, I know a lot of uh, dippers out there have done it as well, but I'm going to do and say something like a top 10 list for me personally, all right, of best times to, uh, to have a dip and all the rest of it, so I'll get the uh, notes done for that and then I'll, I'll get it to you. One thing I'll mention now, all right, I've got two more skulls to review. These ones I haven't tried these before, all right, but we'll see where we go with them, okay. And then these are the two, the last two from Skull I'm gonna do. All right, Skull Bandits. Now I think in these, all right, I'll open them uh, live on camera when I do it, but I think they're kind of like pre-cut, so they're already in like little bricks. A dip, I've got the winter green one there, uh, which I'm hoping is gonna be good, and then I've got the mint one there. Now, firstly for me, uh, if they are the pre-cut ones, I kind of, in a way, don't understand it. All right, I prefer to have all right, the loose tobacco and things like that. All right, but then again, it might be Skull being quite clever, giving the target audience to, to uh, dip. Right. I know that uh, they also do pouches and things like that. I don't know if I've got any cans there. Mm. No, not that I can see. Right, but you can get this in, in pouches, so it's kind of like a, a snoozy one as well. Another thing I'll say about the skulls, I've got one in, I've already smashed the pack, all right, the, the spoon, uh, mint or spearmint one, all right, but just comment below something like that. Do you want me to go into the skull snus? All right, things like that. This one's already been cracked, all right, and snus is a, it's more of a UK thing, Sweden thing, Switzerland kind of whatever where the tobacco comes in like little pouches like that and you stick these on the on the upper decker and potentially with these all right spit free so you don't really have to spit you can kind of swallow the excess saliva and uh, enjoy it that way personally I don't mind snus from time to time but I like my ritual is I like to I like to spit I like kind of enjoy the dip a lot better. So leave some comments below and uh, see me on that. All right, I'll leave that there. All right, pretty decent dip. All right, try fine cut. Try and get used to it. All right, it takes a little bit. You've already seen. All right, it's gone down a lot. I've spat most of it out because I'm not a seasoned fine cut dipper. All right, but, uh, but there we go. Uh, as always, all right, support these guys on YouTube. All right, Mudra Guan, check his channel out. All right, you've got Chris Dips one as well. All right, you need to check him out. He's, very informative in the videos that they do and they're quite funny. They also do a lot of footage from the PlayStation, so they do like uh, GTA 5 where they cut around, he's pre-recorded that and they, they uh, chat some crap and he's pretty decent like, so you need to check those those guys out. All right. Support the Mud Jug family, all right, they've got de decent products, the products are always good, all right, uh, pretty cheap prices as well. All right. I'm going to try and do them because I'd like to. Because on the website that I use Northerner, they only have the basic colours. I wouldn't mind getting one of the camo uh, mud jugs or something like that. So, uh, yeah, mud jug one if you're watching this video, which I hope you do. Uh, so obviously, I support your channel uh, and, and support you as well. Obviously, support the company by buying your products. Uh, so you can, uh, you know, do us a favour and, <laughs> and hook us up with one of your uh, one of your nicer looking mud jugs rather than just one of the plain colours. So, uh, yeah, cheers for that mud jug one. Alright, uh, check him out. As always, alright, I'm the Yorkshire Dipper.